Well, President Biden will deliver his second State of the Union address in just a few hours now and his first since Republicans took the majority in the House. Biden's address comes as the House of Representatives threatens to not raise the nation's debt limit. Following the president's speech tonight, newly elected Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders will deliver the Republican response. He's going to talk about uh, the accomplishment that he's made the last two years. He's going to talk about how the wages are up, how inflation is finally starting to cool in the last six months. He's going to talk about the record jobs that we have been able to create. Also, expect the president to address economic anxiety across the country. A new ABC News Washington Post poll finds four out of ten Americans say they feel worse off financially since President Biden took office. Congressman Zach Nunn will be at the State of the Union tonight, bringing with him a special guest who now calls Des Moines home. His name is Nabi Mohammadi, and he's an Afghan refugee vet and veteran turned U.S. citizen. He now serves as translator to the Army and Iowa National Guard. Local 5 had the chance to to speak with him and none earlier today. We asked Nabi what he's looking forward to most tonight. I want to see what our president say about, uh, uh, you know, uh, about our country. And, and, you know, I'm very optimistic. I, I just want to see what will uh, his plan be for, uh, you know, leaving our, uh, for, for our allies in Afghanistan. Nunn said tonight is going to be a humbling experience. Not only is it Nabi's first State of the Union, it's the newly elected Nunn's first as well.